While I was in the Navy, I was stationed at Tripler Armory Medical Center in Hawaii. And I had the privilege of taking care of patients, the men and women that serve in the military out in Hawaii. I had a patient come in through the ER, through a trauma alert. He was the pilot of a civilian helicopter. Morning about 9.45, uh, lost a part of my engine. We ended up crashing into Pearl Harbor. Uh, immediately, um, after all the big booms and loud noises and the water was over, I uh, hit the surface and realized I couldn't move my legs. He had a, what's called a burst fracture, compressing the spinal cord and the signals getting through the spinal cord down to the legs. I uh, had no ability to move anything below my belly button. Uh, for the next two weeks, I was at the hospital at Tripler. I had two surgeries done both by a Dr. Minor. I was trained in a way to think of the spinal cord and decompressing the spinal cord as an emergent issue that needs to be done as soon as possible and emergently. After about two weeks there, I was sent to a hospital in California, still unable to move anything south of the point of injury, was around my belly button, and I was told I was never going to walk again. I was going to learn to live the rest of my life in a wheelchair. My days were revolving around, this is your life now, you are in a wheelchair, you are a paraplegic, this, you have to just get over that. I never really, I just couldn't buy into it. I remember Ryan contacting me and letting me know that while he was in rehab, all the doctors were telling him, you're not gonna walk, we're just focused on getting you to function in a wheelchair. I had amazing care immediately, and from there it was up to me. And I was able to just start working at it, just plug away a little bit of a time. It's, it's one day, it's, it, I mean, it comes down to hours where it's just, you know, I have to get out of bed today. I remember I had him on my schedule and uh, he came into the room carrying a cane and uh, he handed me the cane and said, I don't need this anymore because I can walk thanks to you. Getting the pressure relieved immediately is why I was able to make my recovery. If he hadn't have done that, if he hadn't taken the steps he did, and the decisiveness that he had to kind of just say, no, this is what he needs and he needs this right now, I would probably be in a wheelchair still. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of surreal. We met under such just horrible circumstances, you know? I mean, we would never have had met. I mean, if we'd have been a day prior or a day after, I don't know if you'd have been on, on duty that day. It's phenomenal. It's what we, we all strive for. It's the, the one thing that makes us work so hard and study so much is to be able to give somebody back function and give them back a normal life. To know that you've had that impact on somebody and their entire family and the profound gratitude I have for him for just coming to me and allowing me to take care of him.